Welcome back to part two of this Untamed screencast tutorial. Today we're going to integrate our jQuery carousel that is also responsive into our home page site. So to begin there's really no better way than to go straight to the documentation for Twitter Bootstrap. So right here you can see twitter.github.com forward slash bootstrap will land you right on this page and we just need to get, head over to our JavaScript plugin since we want to play around with the carousel. Here is our list of plugins that are provided, and we will go down to the carousel. So here is the goal for what we will be integrating. And there's really no easier way to do this than to simply copy this code and paste it within our document. So we need to give our body a class of container. Since we want to make sure and contain all of these elements within this one space. And then we will simply paste in our carousel code. Next, you can see here where we actually have room for our active items. So our items here are highlighted by the three dots. And here, here and you can actually place images or HTML text or whatever you may. But for now, we can paste in the links to our images. So you can see that we have an item. So our three images, the first one with the required class of active, our first slide, second slide, and third slide. So let's see what happens if we just refresh our browser right now. Let's bring it over and put refresh. So great. Now we have our full slider and we'll make sure that it is responsive. So it's good. It is responding. It works with our navigation and it is responsive down to mobile. So let's let me show you where these controls come from within the code. It's pretty easy and it's relatively easy um, to style with CSS and kind of manipulate since they're so obvious in the code. They are simply anchor tags with a class of carousel and then the proper control of left and right. And this is helpful whenever the JavaScript needs to know where, um, where to move the slides. So now that we have successfully integrated our carousel, we can move on down to our next section in our call to action in three text columns.